at one point or another, you've all held titles. And I want to ask the hard-hitting questions here, because I know oh. what I would do, but Jeez. do you take your belts with you everywhere? Because I absolutely would. <laughs> I would sleep with yes. it. I would you have, have to. You Alexa, have to. let's start with you. Oh, Lord. Um, yes, you have to take it everywhere. That's like kind of like the, you're like, oh my gosh, I want a title. But then they're like, yes, now you have to carry it through TSA, and it's going to make yeah. your bag 10 pounds heavier. And you, you do have a TV it. title, though, and one and that you yes, carry around. And okay. one you carry yeah. around. Um, and it's can get you in real, a little embarrassing situations. Uh, for example, one time, it always has to be in your carry-on. You always have to have your gear and your title, whatever you need for the show, in your carry-on, because Lord knows, airports lose your bags. Yep. Um, and I was putting I my bag... <laughs> I was putting my bag in the overhead, and my bag just wouldn't fit. And the guy's like, excuse me, miss, I need to check your bag. And I was like, no, 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 it'll fit. And I'm, like, still doing it. And, and then he was like, no, And then no. you body slammed him? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He was like, you need to take something out of your bag. And, of course, the only thing that I could take out was the title. And then, of course, miraculously, my bag fit. And so I had to sit there and be that person. And in case you didn't know, I'm a champ. <laughs> Sit in my airport seat like this she with a title. She did that on purpose. She's just like, you know, just be, everyone that walked by, hello, champ. <laughs> oh my God, I bet you the safety briefing about buckling your belt was so different for you. Oh, I, I held it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Paige, what about you? Have you gone through something like that? Yeah. So obviously we have to go for. Uh, where they check your bags and everything like that. But mine had my championship in it, but they were more focused on my, my jacket. So my wrestling jacket, I had a, a crap ton of studs on it. Like, they're Great. really long. They're very aggressive, very aggressive. <laughs> Obviously, there's a lot of metal. So, like, the woman pulls it out, and she's just like, what is this? <laughs> and I'm like, it's my jacket. And she was like, that's a, that's a very spiky jacket. Are you going to use that as a weapon? And I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like, you think I'm going to come on the plane and just start, what, like, <laughs> like, start attacking people with my jacket? And that, literally, literally, we had to have, like, a crowd of people come over and they're, like, inspecting my jacket. I was like, I promise you I'm not using this as a weapon. I actually wear this thing. Yeah. And, like, in the end, they were just like, oh, it's just a jacket. Yeah, you can go through it. And I'm like... <laughs> All right. You're like, if I was going to use anything as a weapon, it'd be these. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or it'd be the championship belt that's laying right beside it. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Natalia, what about you? Have you almost missed a flight because of this? Oh, many times. I was actually in the kitchen, which is, you know, not unusual for me to be taking selfies. Everybody probably knows I'm a selfie queen. Um, <laughs> and I was taking selfies with my cat, Two Paws. If you're not following him... On Instagram, I would suggest you follow him. Yes, she is. And I'll um, do whatever you say, honestly. <laughs> so when I won the SmackDown Women's Championship, I was like, you know, in the kitchen taking selfies with the cat, and I almost missed my flight. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not even gonna make check-in. I literally have to go with the carry-on because I'm gonna miss the flight. Do I mean I'm gonna have to explain to talent relations in WWE why I'm not able to defend this title at a pay-per-view because I was taking selfies with my cat. <laughs> Priorities. So, I respect priorities. that. I yes. respect that. So, Alexa and Natalia, you have actually faced off against each other in yes. the ring. Many times. What do you remember from those matches? Can oh. I start? Yes, yeah, start, please. For some crazy reason, every time I wrestle Lexi, I manage to give her a giant wedgie. And I don't know why or how it happens, but somehow there's always a wedgie involved in our matches. Always. It's only on the televised matches, too. It's not even on the live events that oh aren't God. televised. But yeah. It sounds time. painful and horrible. Let's relive it. I have a picture. <laughs> um, I mean, that looks like, yeah, that's a. There Here's, is a all Here's a question. Have you mastered how to pick a wedgie during a match? Yes, 100%. Really? Anytime someone rolls you in the ring, 100% of the time you're going to see me do one of these as I roll in. <laughs> really? Pull shorts right on my butt. You, the you either throw the person out and pull it out, or you're just like in a pin and then they help you pull it out. Yeah. Well, there's an art to it, and we've definitely mastered it. Yeah. <laughs>